Amen. Today's topic is the dream of seeing a robber or thief. First of all, I would like you to pray with me with one faith. Close your eye and pray this prayer. Say, O oh God, my Father in heaven, I call upon you in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I stand against every perspective and power, sir. Any man that have vow or any woman that said that my hand will never in life touch good things, that vow that good things can never come in my life, that vow that I will suffer and suffer to the end of my life, that vow that I will never make it in life, that vow that I can never succeed in my life. From my father's side, are you from my mother's side? Are you from my husband's side? Are you from my wife's side? Are you from the place I walk? Are you from uh, 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 the place I serve? Is not West Central that I vow every assignment that enemy have signed concerning my life, every monetary meal, they are using a monetary way good things want to come in my life by the fire, by fire of the Holy Ghost, I scatter them I scatter them cash fire, cash fire in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, by the power of the Holy Ghost, I break that your hand, you will never rob me again, I blind your eyes you will never rob, see me again I cripple your leg, you will never see me again, in the name Name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I am beginning to pray this prayer in seconds. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Libra do Shakaturiaba. In the name of Jesus, I begin to pray. 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 It's monitoring spirit. Begin to pray. It's not good. Begin to pray. If you are seeing this type of thing, if they are robbing you, taking what belongs to you by force in the dream, begin to pray. Begin to pray. Begin to pray. Is it a woman? Is it a man? I scatter their plan. Break their glass, uh, break their monitor mirror, every monitoring mirror that they have placed somewhere in the altar, in the secret place, uh, every place they are hiding in there by the power of the Holy Ghost. Uh, begin to scatter, break that mirror, break that mirror, break that mirror. He say it is well with me, it is well with my soul. From today, I will succeed. From today, good thing will come into my hand. From today, I will be seen. I will receiving the blessing from destiny helpers. From today, I will make it. From today, I will succeed. From today, I will live. From today, I will not die. From today, I will I will make it in life. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, I begin to give glory to God. Thank Him for what He have done. If you believe that God has touched your life today, begin to thank Him. Begin to thank Him. Thank you, Father, in heaven, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Who bless your name. I cover this prayer, the blood of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, they answer the blood of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. May God answer your prayer. He said in the book of Exodus that Egyptian you see yesterday, you shall see them no more. Thank you, Father. You shall never see them no more. You shall never see them again in Jesus' mighty name, I pray. Amen. Thank you. God bless you. Please, if you have never yet subscribed, try to subscribe to this channel and uh, share the link to others. In the name of Father and Son and the Holy Ghost, you are going to be blessed. Stealing in a dream, thief, arm robbers, taking what belongs to you, or someone forced something out in your hand, is a very bad dream. A very bad dream. Let me tell you something. Before somebody plans to rob you, that person have uh, you know prepared himself that anything that come out of it it will you know it will take it so that person must be do must equip himself very well and uh, if you try to you know fight uh, back he can kill you so that person that vow that he must be collecting something from your hand that person can kill you that person can kill you. So it's a very bad sign. So if you always see someone robbing you, taking something in your hand, you know, forcing something out, you do not give that person. That is a monitoring mirror. Somebody have vowed, somebody have, you know, uh, uh, vowed that there is nothing will make, good thing will come in your life. That is why sometimes 
you will go a place and pray or prophet will prophesy to you after prophesying you believe and you start praying immediately that you want to come to manifest they will come in the dream and steal something out from you that thing they taken out from you is that blessings is that blessing that prophecy that the person has prophesied in your life when you want to you know manifest they will now rob it they will not take it out so that dream of robin is a very bad sign bad dream anybody that see that kind of thing cannot succeed that thing they collected is what they see that is coming on the way that thing they collected can be money can be your business can be a blessing from someone can be as prayer that is a prayer to answer they will call it that it can be your grace or the glory there is a something they have projected they are using as a monitoring mirror and monitoring when good things is coming in your life and that person is happy that you are dying in silence never you take this kind of dream come on this dream is a very very a, 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 a good sign to someone like that. Is, I mean, to is it, it, it's trying to tell you that something is wrong with you. Watch in the Bible. A lot of people you see Saul. Uh, what did he call it? Esau and his brother. Esau and his brother. You see what happens between two of them. His brother collected his blessing. You know, uh, he used uh, 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 no uh, uh, tricks. He collected his brother blessings. So anyone can be in your life, I mean, staying with you, living with you, knowing what, where good thing is coming, they can be using powers, charm, many things, you know, forces, collecting that blessing. You cannot succeed. You cannot make it. And uh, if you try to attack them, they can kill you. So anybody that robbing you with a, uh, what do you call it, with gun, no, uh, I mean arm robber, that person have decided either he frustrated you, you allow him to frustrate you to the end, or he will kill you. So two things involved. That person is after your life and your money. But what that person want to do is to make sure that he suffer you, suffer you to the end before the person will succeed. They kill you. Before the person will kill you, there are some people that say that this person will suffer so, so before I take his life. If that person is equipped with arm, arm robbers, that person have signed to kill you, have signed to destroy all your happiness. He said, I will destroy, I will, you know, take every good thing in your life before I destroy you. May it never come to pass in your life in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Amen. The thief is a some is a group of people that have planned someone before somebody wants to rob you. They must be an informant. Somebody will give information to that robber before he comes. So that's me. That person that is behind your problem, that is taking good things away from you, that person is close person. The person is very close. That is why we pray. My father's side, my mother's side, my house. That person is a somebody that's seeing you, watching you every time, physical. They are seeing when something want to, uh, uh, you know, ride. There are some people where they just see you, just you change clothes. They will not be happy. There are some people where they see you, where you eat, they will not be happy. Just to you, they see you are pregnant, they will not be happy. There are some enemies that if they see that you want a bad marriage, they will not be happy. They will start preparing something. There is a people that vow, no, I hate this person with that anything, with that any reason. They hate you. They don't want you to survive because they see your destiny is bright. Hallelujah, someone. So when you want to pray this prayer, you always pray within, around you. First of all, what will keep you, what will keep you strong to win them is secret. Secret. Never you leak your secret to them, particularly when you want to pray, spiritual. I mean, when you want to come, you know, you know, uh, uh, 
uh, committed yourself to God to help you. Never you tell them where you go. Never you tell them where you want to pray. Never you tell them what something want to happen in your life. If you want to receive a good thing, don't tell them. You don't know who is who. Allow that thing to come manifest so they will say it. No thing, nobody can hide good things. I, hallelujah. For example, now if somebody dash your motor, would you hide it? There was people who say, where you driving it? So, for example, then you buy a new clothes, would you hide it? You wear it. They will know that you buy a new clothes. For example, that uh, your wife pregnant, can you cover pregnancy? That is, allow that thing to manifest. Let them see it. Oh, they have missed the track. They always use what you said and, uh, you know, work against you. Talk, 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 talk. Remember that Christ Jesus is a very secret God. Doesn't talk anyhow. Even the disciple doesn't know where he, he talked to them in, 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 in Proverbs. Hold your tongues if you want to run away from these robbers. They have informant. They always hear from you physical before they now, you know, return to the spirit, the sign to destroy you. Somebody forcing something out in your hand. That person is a wicked person. He don't want you to survive. That Okay, this kind of problem is not a far problem. It's from it's somebody that know you very well. Is out that is work is kicking against your progress. It's kicking against your progress. So you are not safe if you can't keep your mouth shut. Be a secret person. Pray before you expose that thing that. Even a prophet prophesied to you, don't tell anyone. Pray. Do a certain thing that that person said you should do. As far as the person prophesied to you in the name of the God Almighty. Remember what he said in the book of uh, Deuteronomy? He said that anyone that prophesied in my name, don't worry. Even though they didn't open to us, leave that fight for me. It's not concerning you. So do what a certain thing. As far as you know that it's something that has anything to do with God. That something that is written in the Bible that God said, God have no formula. Do after your prayer before you can. When the thing done, you can start talking that thing. You don't know a brother can be a, a, a can work against his brother. A sister can work against his sister. A father can work against his children. Children can work against their parents. Your father can work against you. Pastor can work against members. Anyone can work against anyone. Friends can work against friends. So never you trust anyone except your God and yourself. Hallelujah. Accept your God and yourself. Enemies is everywhere. Hatred started from the time of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Even the God Almighty, we did not like him. I imagine God created us with, according to his own image and likeness. Still, we would betray him. We did many things for him. He destroyed the world with water. That second, he even gave us grace. We still started it again before he sent his son to do what? To come and uh, you know bail us from a sin. So what of you? Do you know what is hatred? When the disciples of Christ deny him, are you? How, can't you see? A lot of places. Can't you hear the, st uh, the story of Leah and her sisters? What happened there? Betrays hatred with that no formula. If you want to be a powerful person, strong man, strong woman, you must be sick. That what what keep our old our, our uh, old people in those days, you know, uh, uh, strong. Secret is the key to win your robbers. Secret is the key to win your brutal enemies. Secret is the key to survive. Secret is the key of power. So that is the number one thing you will do. Then you start praying and you are going to change the position of your bed. That place you keep your bed to, you used to lie down in the night. Change the direction. That place is the place they focus their mirror. They know where you sleep and how you sleep. Just try this thing I'm saying. This is just a practical. Change your bed. Change the direction of the place you are sleeping. You know? And watch me. And start praying. This prayer is a prayer that if you want to sleep, kneel down in that particular place you used to sleep thank god and after thanking god you pray and come and cover yourself with the holy ghost fire say my inner man spirit 
Drink the Holy Ghost fire. My inner man spirit. Drink the Holy Ghost fire. My inner man spirit. Drink the Holy Ghost fire. When you pray this prayer and you say, I break every monitoring mirror, they will never see me again. And pray. After this prayer, the prayer continue the prayer, you will start seeing light. Say, God, give me power and strength so that I will do what? Destroy my enemies. He said that I have given you authority and power to all, all the forces. You are not wrestling against flesh and blood, against principality and powers. So you don't have to call anybody name. They can hear anybody face and come. Begin to pray. I don't know who is doing this thing for me. Anyone in my family, pray this kind of prayer. I pray when I started this, uh, uh, this, this program. Don't mention anybody name if you want to get your enemies. You don't know who is who are, you know, suffering with, uh, 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 with power of uh, familiar spirits. Familiar spirits. That is the wisdom of men. They use and attack each other. You can't know who is who. They can use the image of your brother, your sister, your wife and attack you. You concluded that it's that person. No! It's not work like that in the spiritual realm. Remember when the thief want to rob you? When a robber want to come to your place, they will use mask. So the same thing, when they want to manipulate and come and rob you, they will use a, any face. That face is their own mask. It can be that person too. But pray. After praying this prayer, and ask God to survive you. After praying this prayer, use Psalm 31 and pray. Use Psalm 35 and pray. Use, uh, uh, use um, Ephesians 6 and 12 and pray. Pray this prayer three days prayer don't you know don't uh, i did not say fasting when you want to sleep you can pray three days if you don't sleep, continue praying praying just small prayer make sure you talk something there's power in tongue before you sleep after this prayer i pray that god is going to survive you you are going to see them you are going to god is going to expose them not by my power not by my mind by the power of the holy ghost in jesus my precious name i pray amen thank you you are blessed you are blessed. Please try to drop your own dream by special grace of God. We will help you to interpret it. All this dream we are interpreting here is people that drop it. Please try to talk. Try to talk. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God bless you. My name is Ken Pride. I will come and see you next time.